In this video, I will show you how to print orders WooCommerce. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is make sure that WooCommerce is actually active on your plugins. Scroll down, click on this plugins right here or just hover to that. Click on this installed plugins. If you don't have that, you can actually install that by clicking on this add new plugin. Now you can click on this active right here. And then once you have clicked on that, you can see all of the active plugins that you have. So let's try to search in here for WooCommerce. And then once you have done that, it will show you the WooCommerce application. So scroll down. And once you have seen that WooCommerce is on the active side, you're good to go. Next thing you need to do is to head over and click on this add new plugin. And then for this one, it will load just like this, wherein it will show you the plugin store. Click on this right here on the search bar. Search in here for export. Once you have searched for that, you can see in here some search results that support your search. So you can choose which one actually befits you. But for this one, let's choose this advanced order export for WooCommerce by Algo Plus. It's totally free. Click on this one. And then once you have done that, click on this install and activate. Now this will load you to the installation process. It's downloading until here. You should be good to go. So as you can see, it's been added. And once it's been added right here, let's head back. Now, once we head back, we can see that we have one order right here. So if you want to actually export or print the order for this one, what you can do is you can instead head over and scroll down until you can see the option right here for plugins. So here's plugins right here. And once you have click on that, you can see all the installed plugins as well. Now, next thing you need to do is just click on this extensions right here. Once you have click on your extensions, you can see in here the option for export order. Click on that, and then once you have done that, it will show you the actual export things. Like you can choose a date range. So break this one. Let's choose on from May one until May thirty one, and then you can also choose the order range. Like it can be a summary report from products or by customers, and then you can choose the format as well, as well as the export file name. Let's choose CSV for this one, and then you can also choose a date. You can also sort the orders and, and after that you can save the settings and just click on this export right here in order to export the orders that you have on your store so as you can see it's been downloaded right here and once i had head over and open that let's try to open that in here now you can see that we have this particular order because this because we only have one so that's the whole process. If you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe. It helps me reach more people. See you soon.